history. Tonight, Sacramento Juneteenth Incorporated will honor all that African Americans bring to this country's creative economy with a special art reception in Oak Park. Gary Simon will be hosting the community tonight at 6 and is with me now live to share what folks will be treated to. Hi, Gary. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Now, your group does something different every year to celebrate Black History Month. In 2022, you focused on helping African Americans lead better lives, bringing in chefs to show families how to cook healthier versions of some beloved soul food dishes. You also hosted a Martin Luther King Jr. essay contest. Why put the focus on art this year? Well, art, you know, Sacramento has, uh, well, first of all, we're leading up to our 20th anniversary of uh, celebrating Sacramento Juneteenth Festival here in Sacramento. So this is our 20th year. So uh, leading up to this year's celebration, we wanted to definitely uh, highlight or continue to highlight the African-American experience here, not only in Sacramento, but in, in the United States. So this year we wanted to focus on art uh, as Sacramento has moved uh, with this art initiative uh, that Sacramento, the city of Sacramento has, perso has pursued. So we want to be a part of that. And we have solicited seven to 10 artists to come and showcase Black history themed pieces, Black history themed art pieces. And we have, they'll be there tonight. We're going to put our Black chefs around them to create a reception type of atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And we just want to support the African-American art community and, and not specifically African-Americans, but the art community in itself. Now, as you just mentioned, two months ago, you reached out asking artists to submit their work for tonight's event, and you got a wide array of responses. We unfortunately can't show off any of them because, of course, you want people to come out tonight and right. see them, but you had paintings submitted and even a sensory box. Tell me a little yeah, bit about you, the box. Well, I had one artist uh, reach out and, 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 and request that uh, or asked if she could bring a sensory box. So, mm -hmm. of course, I had heard the term. Uh, but uh, she informed me a little bit more. So sensory boxes for the kids, basically on that autism spectrum, uh, where you know there's a touch. I guess there's a touching component to it and a feeling component. So it's all you know, stimulating their senses. Senses, I guess. So I have. I don't have much detail on it, but <laughs> I, she did show me a nice picture of it, and it, it seems very interesting. And it apparently is very uh, helpful for those uh, on that autism spectrum. Very cool as well that there's the whole array of what, right. you know, people are bringing forward as art. And this is a win-win for the artists, right? Not only have they already been selected to be part of this reception, but you have a committee that will be picking a winner and that artist right. will get a cash prize and then they might be selling their works of art. Right. There is a silent auction component. And this is the other piece in which we are asking the community to come out and support these artists uh, by purchasing a piece or two. Uh, most of the artists will submit uh, at least two pieces for the auction and then one for the contest. So there's an opportunity for them to, and, and again, the artists will receive 100% of those proceeds. So we're, uh, we want to support the artists is what we're trying to do here uh, in celebration of Black History Month, but also as we lead up to this year's 20th anniversary of celebrating Sacramento's Juneteenth Festival. Um, and we know that COVID has been an especially difficult time for everybody sort of in the creative space because so many places where people normally go and engage with those right. kinds of offerings were shut down. So a lot of art is still trying. You know, they're very much in that recovery phase. Not only will families get to enjoy what the artists have to offer, but there will also be some spoken word performances. Spoken word. Our own Audrey White will uh, provide us with a, a Black history theme um, spoken word. Uh, Audrey is also a singer, so she will actually do our national hymn as well. All so, right. uh, so that she'll kick off the event and then provide us with some, some spoken word that uh, hopefully will hit you in the heart a little bit. One member of the Juneteenth Black Chefs Collaborative will be cooking tonight, as you mentioned. What is the collaborative and why did you start assembling it seven years ago? Well, we created the Juneteenth uh, Black Chefs Collaborative uh, as well to be included at, into uh, Sacramento's Farm to Fork initiative. Uh, Visit Sacramento had started that initiative, but unfortunately, a lot of the uh, African Americans weren't included uh, because you know if you don't own the brick and mortar restaurant, then you know the, the opportunity wasn't uh, there. So we wanted to create the Chefs Collaborative as an alternative. 
uh, for folks to participate. So we did that. So we started the Juneteenth Black Chefs Collaborative, like we say, about seven years ago. And since that time, we've uh, we've hosted events, but we've also uh, participated in Farm to Fork year round. And a matter of fact, uh, Miss Sonia Bradley with uh, Visit Sacramento has done an excellent job of including uh, African American and, and Black and Brown chefs as part of that Farm to Fork in, initiative. So we're happy about that, and we just wanted to get some, you know, begin the inclusion part mm -hmm. of that for those that didn't own a restaurant, if you will. We're almost out of time, but tonight's event at the Oak Park Community Center is free, so no excuses, everybody. What feeling, what understanding do you want someone to walk away with after they spend time with this art and these artists? Well, we want them to, first of all, get a, a, a direct view of uh, the, the history, the black history specifically, as well as to support our local artists. Uh, like I said, uh, Black History is is a year-round learning process. So we don't want to just celebrate during a uh, Black History Month, but we want to also uh, recognize and support uh, folks that are uh, distributing this his this art that we're doing. These artists that are uh, supporting themselves mainly. So we want to just support the Black artists as well as uh, recognize the history. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining us today. It's tonight, folks, and it's free. And it's free. <laughs>